Understanding the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. 1. Physical appearance. Crocodiles and alligators belong to the order Crocodilia and share similar physical features, including long bodies, elongated snouts, and tough, scaly skin. However, they have distinct differences in appearance. Crocodiles typically have a V-shaped, pointed snout, which is longer and narrower compared to alligators. Alligators, on the other hand, have a U-shaped, broader snout. This difference in snout shape is related to their feeding habits and habitat preferences. 2. Habitat and Geographic Distribution Crocodiles are found in tropical and subtropical regions across Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. They inhabit freshwater rivers, lakes, marshes, and brackish coastal waters. Alligators are native to the southeastern United States and eastern China, primarily inhabiting freshwater environments such as swamps, marshes, rivers, and lakes. Their distribution is more limited compared to crocodiles, primarily due to their specific habitat requirements. 3. Behavior and Temperament Both crocodiles and alligators are apex predators and display similar predatory behaviors. However, they differ slightly in temperament and aggression levels. Crocodiles are generally more aggressive and territorial, often exhibiting aggressive behaviors towards intruders or potential threats. Alligators are typically less aggressive and more tolerant of other alligators and animals within their habitat, although they can become aggressive during mating season or when defending nests. 4. Salinity Tolerance Crocodiles have well-developed salt glands located on their tongues, which allow them to excrete excess salt from their bodies. This adaptation enables some species of crocodiles to inhabit brackish or saltwater environments for extended periods. Alligators, in contrast, lack salt glands and are primarily freshwater animals. They prefer environments with lower salinity levels and are rarely found in brackish or saltwater habitats. 5. Jaw Structure and Teeth One of the most noticeable differences between crocodiles and alligators is their jaw structure and arrangement of teeth. When their mouths are closed, crocodiles have teeth that interlock, with the fourth tooth of the lower jaw fitting into a notch in the upper jaw. This arrangement results in a visible tooth protruding outside when the mouth is closed. Alligators, on the other hand, have a broader upper jaw, and when their mouths are closed, the teeth in the upper jaw fit neatly into sockets in the lower jaw, concealing all teeth when the mouth is shut. 6. Size and Body Shape Crocodiles tend to be larger and more elongated in body shape compared to alligators. The largest species of crocodile, such as the saltwater crocodile, Crocodilus porosus, can exceed 6 meters, 20 feet, in length. Alligators are generally smaller, with the American alligator, Alligator mississippiensis, reaching lengths of up to 4.6 meters, 15 feet. Both crocodiles and alligators have powerful tails that propel them through water with great agility and speed. 7. Vocalizations. Crocodiles and alligators communicate using vocalizations, but their calls differ in frequency and sound. Crocodiles produce low-frequency bellowing sounds, often described as deep roars or bellows, which can travel long distances through water and air. Alligators emit vocalizations at higher frequencies, including low-pitched growls and high-pitched chirps or hisses. These vocalizations serve various purposes, such as territorial displays, courtship calls, and communication with offspring. 8. Conservation Status and Human Interaction Both crocodiles and alligators face conservation challenges due to habitat loss, pollution, and human activities such as hunting and illegal trade. Several species of crocodiles and alligators are listed as threatened or endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, Red List. Conservation efforts focus on protecting their habitats, regulating hunting practices, and promoting public awareness of their ecological importance.